Hey, 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 what's up? I am hip hop artist Frankie Bars, and I got the keys to Martin Luther King Avenue. And I wear this hat because it's Black History Month. Yes, I am hip hop artist Frankie Bars. And before we get into today's story, I'd like to remind you to stay tuned to my debut television show, The Frankie Bars Show, aired every seventh of the month on DCTV. Channels RCN 10, Comcast 95, Verizon 11. And you can also catch it on YouTube. This month's episode called Curators. Make sure you check dctv.org for scheduled showtime. And I'm gonna take you to Martin Luther King Avenue in Southeast Washington, D.C. There's Martin Luther King Avenue all over the country. And it seems like every Martin Luther King Avenue is always placed in a city in the hood. I used to vacillate between Martin Luther King Avenue and Atlanta, uh, living across the street from a Cascade Skating Rink and a library in Southwest Atlanta. And I would navigate between there in Southeast Washington, D.C., not too far from Martin Luther King Avenue. And one thing I noticed, and one question that I still have today, and maybe y'all can answer this for me, is why is it that Martin Luther King, one of the richest spirits of our time, one of the richest souls, he was rich in faith, Martin Luther King was rich in hope, Martin Luther King was rich in love, but yet you put his name in the boulevard in the most poorest areas of the cities and the countries. Currently, currently right now, currently, let's talk about right now. Now Martin Luther King Avenue in Southeast Washington, D.C. is being gentrified. What is gentrification? Gentrification is when a residence is being remodeled or renovated to cater to the middle class. I don't believe that you can necessarily put a total stop to gentrification. Gentrification is a, is a, is a bigger agenda ran by entities way more powerful than us as citizens. So, you know, you trying to stop gentrification is, you know, you'd be hard pressed. What you could do is work with the gentrification and find your place within the move. You need to buy as many assets as you possibly can, black woman. You need to buy as many assets as you possibly can, black man, and work with and adapt with this agenda or this movement of gentrification that is inevitably taking place. So now I'm gonna take you to visit three people. I'm gonna take you to connect with three kings in Southeast Washington, D.C. I'm gonna let you hear from community leader and activist of We Act Radio, Kimone Freeman. I'm also gonna let you hear from motivational speaker and poet, Backpack Jeff. And I also have a surprise guest, a surprise king that you're gonna hear from in Southeast Washington, D.C. And these three kings are gonna share with you what's going down with our people as you witness this hoodie that I got of two noble kings. Yep, this hoodie is by two noble kings. And let's take you to connect with these three kings of color in Southeast Washington, D.C. I don't know if we having an effect on Martin Luther King Avenue, because if we was having an effect, it would, it would be less crime, it'd be less violence, it'd be less um, hostility towards each other, it'd be more support, it'd be all the things that MLK taught us and left a blueprint for us to learn from. But we do have a presence uh, we have uh, uh, you know, a storefront studio uh, mimicked specifically and purposely after uh, Do the Right Thing, Senor Daddy Loves Jones, uh, Sam Jackson in the storefront studio windows. We have speakers outside broadcasting to the street. We have a bus um, stop next door to us. We have a captive audience. Uh, anytime it rains, people congregate underneath on the canopy of our studio. And they are force-fed uh, the information and the programming that we uh, we are broadcasting out to the streets, uh, according to our uh, uh, neighborhood bid uh, uh, business improvement district. There's 30,000 impressions every day, at least Monday through Friday, business days, 
or that location. Uh, impressions means how many cars go by, how many people walk by, how many eyeballs hit this spot at this location at 1918 Martin King Avenue, and it's 30,000. And I would like to think that some of those people actually get to hear what we're saying. And the truth, uh, un unlike a lie, you recognize the truth when you hear it. You recognize the truth when you hear it. And once your eyes are open to it, uh, you never think the same. So the message that I wanted people to understand uh, about the poem, If the Streets Could Talk, was I wanted to give them the perspective of the streets. So um, what, what inspired me was uh, J. Cole, he, 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 he had this, uh, song, this monologue in one of his songs, and he talked about, you know, you can blame it on the streets, you can blame it on this, you can blame it on that. And I think so much, so much of the times, man, we blame so much on the streets and what the streets are doing. But we as people, we as a community, we have to begin to take our young ones back. If we want to save the lives of the young people, we have to begin to take those things back from the streets. And the streets can actually teach us things as well. It can teach you uh, a hustler's mentality. It can teach you entrepreneurship. There's so much that you can learn from uh, fr from the streets. Uh, my name is Jake Paul McGee. Today was just a, a documentary, documentary release reviewing. Because the documentary just came out. AC7 News just put it out yesterday. So it's new to the, it's new to the community, it's new to the world. So it's the release. It's like a release party basically. Uh, leaving Anacostia. Well first it can keep the it can keep the kids and the teens active. Like that's the problem now. Like the kids out there on the block shooting dice, smoking weed for nothing, because it's nothing else to do, you know? Imagine if they did have like a little park, like not even a park, like a, a recreational center they can really go to, come together, learn the knowledge, learn positivity instead of just not having nothing to do, straight negativity, not knowing education, just straight smoking, standing in trouble, not getting nowhere in life. Please provide for these organizations, just get it done, like hope the youth, hope the youth. I'm good on any MLK good on any MLK Boulevard, MLK ATL, MLK DC, I know my alphabet. I'ma take you from Northeast, all the way across the river, and Southeast Washington DC, and that's Southeast with an F. I'm the glue, we'll be trapping by the sticky rice, 8th Street, right across from the auto zone. Got a pound from up top, then we brought her home. Big buzz, bought the sides off a waffle cone. Respond via text only, bet not call my phone. I say don't call my phone, cause the line hot. Cross every T, make the eyes dot. When I open on the streets like a side clock. Gray Street, I was trapping out the coffee shop. Go the other way quick if you saw a cop. Long as you ain't selling it is what the cop said. Then we move a couple pounds in our blockhead. By Staten Glen, trapping in the dark. Cedric Douglas Circle, I was trapping in the park. Southeast, big chair, MLK, we in here. Southeast with the F and the F is for Frankie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Southeast with the F and the F is for Frankie. Yeah. Cause you know that Frankie got them bars, always got them bars, all about them bars. Yeah, you know that Frankie got them bars, all about them bars, always got them bars. I got gas in the street. Bet you niggas can't compete. OG Kush in the street. Bet you niggas can't compete. Oh no. But what you can compete with is that subscribe button. To the, to the, to the left, to the left. Uh. Us black people, you need to start buying more assets. The white people been with it. The white people been doing it. The black people, we need to do better. Which is what? Playing the Monopoly game. Gentrification is built around property. Uh, gentrification is built around housing. Gentrification is built around real estate. So therefore, us black people need to get better at playing the Monopoly game. Which means everything that we set foot on, we need to buy and claim ownership of.